Greetings brother and Hasburger Donkey here. Uh, please ignore any of the background noises you might hear. It's super warm but really nice and windy so I have to have the window open. And uh, there's kids playing outside and they're clanging stuff about. So if you hear any of that, that's, that's what that is. Uh, right, so you saw me unboxing Evil Stew's package which was awesome and uh, I definitely want to have sort of a, another uh, terrain painting bash because I do really need more painted terrain. But uh, first, I have to handle what we see here. So, just after I finished uh, most of the uh, the Romans, um, I was really just waiting a couple of days to do the uh, varnishing on them. And in those days, I started on the next set of my War Master Dwarves. Um, and this this chunk of them is basically all the war machines and all the heroes. So I have two gyrocopters. Um, they're all those same 3D printed models as the warriors that I painted before. From that same make. Um, and they're really nice. I decided to go with a really nice blazing red on the dragon heads. Uh, and, you know, just did my standard start of uh, um, dry brushing them silver. Uh, only difference is I used a different silver because I finally got my hands, after a very long wait, on some... Where's the right one? Come on! Why is the right one always the last one you grab? There we go. I finally got my hands on some Vallejo metal colors. Uh, Ever since the, the whole COVID nonsense, these have been incredibly difficult to get. And, uh, yeah, finally I got some. So, I, I used them on the dwarves, and they are actually fantastic. For how re they are very liquidy, so I, I didn't think they'd lend themselves to dry brushing, but no, they work fine. You just have to make sure that the you get some of the extra moisture out of the brush, and they, they, ah, they dry brush beautifully. Right, then we also have uh, two cannons and one flame cannon and uh, then we have where is it uh, yep this is all the crew for the two cannons already started on them as well painted on some some leather bits then we have uh, some of my heroes well these two actually are the crew members for the flame cannon then we have a rune priest with an anvil and we have this uh, army standard bearer, which is going to be just a regular dwarf hero. And then we have this lovely gentleman on his uh, uh, carrying thingy, whatever you call that, with two guards, and he will be my king. And that's all the heroes and war machines that I have so far. I might get some more. I might get some more cannons or another flame cannon, maybe. I don't know. But uh, so far, this is what I have, and I, I do need to paint this. But, I'm kind of in a rut at the moment with painting, which sucks. And um, I also do have to do these ones, which are a commission I started absolute ages ago uh, for a local friend. And um, he already paid and everything, so these are just sitting around and waiting to be finished. Um, and... I had to at some point last year because of because of the the situation with my back and um, you know how how crappy 2020 was for me I had to put them aside I, I couldn't deal with them anymore they were staring me in the face and I was just having they, they were just sitting on the work desk and I wasn't doing any work while they were sitting there so I decided they had to, they just for now they just have to go uh, so that I can actually start working again I had really only done the red on these Red is done. It's, it's actually really nice red cloth that I, that I painted on these. Um, and then I started on this, on this emerald color and I didn't finish it. It's just washed. So yeah, I, I put them away and then I kind of forgot about them, which is of course horrible of me. And I really need to get them done. But once again, I am in the same sort of a burnout phase as I was when I put these away. So getting them out. I don't I don't know if I'm going to be immediately able to finish them if I just, you know, did that. So I have decided that I'm going to put them aside just a little bit, not, you know, so I forget about them, but I'm first going to paint this uh, Eagle Claw Bolt Thrower. 
because I just really want to do that. <laughs> I just I just need to, to get a, a palette cleanser. And this will be fun. Uh, I'll paint them old school. Actually, I totally forgot to get up uh, because I wanted to show off that I got weak. I got very weak for one, uh, for one fateful moment and bought the entire range of Nostalgia 88 paints uh, from Warcolor, which are supposedly very close to the original, original, original uh, Citadel colors from way back in the day. And I got the whole, got the whole range of them, and I'm going to use uh, as many of these colors on my High Elves as possible. I'm going to need some other paints because this range was super limited. Uh, so I, I might do some mixing or something, I don't know, but... Um, yeah, especially flesh colors. There's just one flesh color in this whole set, which is just not good enough. And I don't like any of the browns as a base coat. So I think I'm just going to stick with my regular uh, skin uh, recipe and then just use as many as of the nostalgia paints for everything else. But yeah, I'm going to do these quickly. And then after that, hopefully I'll already be infused enough to get these done. Uh, and then once these are done, I want to reward myself with the dwarves, which by then I'm sure I'll be really hankering to paint again. So that's that's about the painting plan. Uh, one more thing I wanted to say is I have started a new YouTube channel um, that has really only tangentially uh, anything to do with wargaming in that... Uh, I don't know about you, but when I, like, when I play war games, I, I also like to have a beer every now and then. So yeah, the, the new channel is about beer. And um, I'll have a little clip at the end here to, to you know, show you about sort of what, it, what you can expect from them, uh, from them videos. And then I'll give you a link in the description to that channel and you can go check it out. Maybe, maybe have a subscribe, maybe watch some of those videos because I'm really enjoying making them at the moment. Uh, they're sort of my uh, creative outlet um, to, to not get burned out because always just doing the same thing kind of has a tendency of doing that. And so, yeah, I would, I would really be happy to, to see some of you on that channel. Um, I'm sure some of you appreciate a good beer. <laughs> All right, uh, you'll see the clip in just a few seconds. And uh, aside from that, I hope you have a lovely weekend, and I'll see you in another video. Take care, guys. Bye-bye. Greetings, brethren. You may refer to me as Donkey, and Donkey says, a beer a day. Now, the mission of this channel is to drink every single beer. Mission success chance is pretty much guaranteed. For this inaugural episode, we are going to start with what, in my opinion, is the most generic, uh, widely available beer, I think, and that's Heineken. I think everybody has had this. And um, as you can see, it's a, it's a small bottle. I already filled it into my beer mug. And uh, first off, this beer doesn't have any head. Uh, it's not good. It's not a good start. Now, I, don't, I, I think it's been years since I've had Heineken uh, because it's just not good. It's the, see, the problem with Heineken is that it's, it's generic and it's... I would call it mediocre, it, which is the worst thing a beer can be, in my opinion. Like, I don't mind a beer that's bad. When a beer is bad, it at least creates a sort of negative response. You know, I'll see it and, and I'll, I'll get a shock and think, This beer, I have had it before, and it greatly offended me. Only a foolish person would drink such sludge. But when it's generic... Like Heineken. You just don't have any response. You're just disappointed. So let's let's get disappointed. Yeah, that's exactly as disappointing as I remember it. Like, there's one good thing I will say about this beer. Observe. It's incredibly easy to chug. Um, but that's pretty much all there is to it. It's just not very good. It's just not very good. So, Heineken, incredibly mediocre, uh, 0 out of 10. And uh, that's...
that's that's the initial episode, and uh, we'll look at more beers in the future. I hope you enjoyed this. Please come back to my channel if you want to see me drink more beer and talk rubbish about beer. And honestly, I'm also going to talk about other things. The only two rules on this channel for topics, uh, no politics or current events, uh, no religion. And everything else should be okay. Because I, I just, I don't know, I think we get bombarded with politics enough as it is that it's fine if I don't talk about it. Alright, have a wonderful day. And please come back on the next day for the next beer. Goodbye.